Rupert Murdoch to testify. I don't know. Rupert Murdoch's got to go. I feel so appalled. Nick someone's privacy and flog it for money. That is the first I've heard of that. This is Phone hacking created a cacophony of criticism, a scandal to test the most resolute of media barons. But Rupert Murdoch has shown down the years, in a crisis, he can be ruthless. From humble beginnings in Australia, he built the biggest media empire in the world. But in 1986, Rupert Murdoch turned the newspaper industry in the UK upside down. He was the man who tamed the print unions so that newspapers became incredibly profitable. Until then, these men who set the metal print had a hold over the paper. Frequent strikes were crippling, but that all changed when Murdoch set up a new electronic printing plant in Wapping, firing 5,000 workers who refused to accept management claims that technology had eliminated their jobs. We begged them that up to a year ago they wouldn't answer our telephone calls. Um, they wouldn't listen to anything at all. Greg Neal refused to cross the picket line and agrees the whopping siege left a long legacy. Something of that bonker mentality has survived since whopping and possibly is one of the reasons that culture developed at the news of the world in which, as we now know, phone hacking on a very large scale began to take place. That's confirmed by former News of the World journalist Paul McMullen, who says while phone hacking may have been wrong, Murdoch's battles with the unions were right. Oh, sadly, they were an, a necessary evil for, because journalism was being stifled by the printers. But his enemies say Murdoch learnt a contempt for his workers then, which he showed again during the phone hacking scandal. The ruthlessness uh, was seen as recently when he shut the news of the world, with con complete contempt for the staff. This is exactly what he did uh, with the Times, Sunday Times, News in the World and The Sun. The journalists um, at that time, literally a couple of days in advance, were called into meetings and the editors told them, if you don't come to Wapping, you'll be sacked. His critics say Rupert Murdoch was always ruthless, but the Battle of Wapping here 25 years ago showed him at his most cutthroat. Now his empire is facing perhaps its biggest ever challenge, with many wondering if his core of steel can save him again. Dan Rivers, CNN, Wapping, London.